Hello and welcome to a new video from Mikrofahrzeuge. Today we are discussing brake adjustment, specifically about brake adjustment. Firstly, when you order a vehicle, for example, online and it is delivered, you have to adjust the brake to 80-90% clean. However, it may also be necessary to adjust the brake slightly due to wear and tear over time. Or the scooter flipped over and the brake disc has a slight impact. For instance, with the scooter, we now have the case where it is used but we can hear or possibly see it in the video, the brake has a slight jolt. Let's have a look at that now. Initially, we ensure that the adjustment options are completely devoid of any preload or prior load. That means we go all the way inside here. And at the other end, at the bottom of the brake caliper, we have the adjustment option here again. Here we are also completely in it. It's simply about adjusting the brake perfectly now. If it wears out again, you can easily tighten it a bit here. You can see it quite well when you are looking from below or from the back, a light is held against. And now we can already see that the brake disc is on the inner side. I'll lift the wheel and make a slight adjustment in your position by turning a little bit in the indicated direction to ensure optimal alignment. It is clearly evident that the brake disc is visibly bent at that specific point of impact. You can truly feel it. Resistance, how it breaks. We have a tool here to align the brake discs. Currently we are driving back to the spot. The specific area where the brake disc is making contact and experiencing friction, causing it to rub against another component. So that would be the case here, without any doubt. Position our straightening tool on it and proceed to bend it. Gently slide outwards just a little bit here. Already much better. It still touches very lightly. We'll take care of that too. At this moment, we make contact. So here, a little bit out again. 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 To provide a more detailed demonstration, we will disassemble the brake caliper by utilizing the two internal hexagon screws, specifically the in-bus screws with a size of five. Is it possible for us to disassemble the brake system in order to inspect and repair its components, ensuring optimal functionality and safety? Just remove by lifting or pulling upwards in a straightforward manner. I would say he still has 75% of the topping. Overall mileage is about 2,000 to 3,000 kilometers. Pima thumb depends on the driving style. Currently that's 3-4 brake pads, so it's perfect. He's not even halfway gone. Sometimes they're only half worn, for example. The saddle was not properly mounted, but they look good. If you have a squeaking noise in the brake, you can check it again quickly. Pull off the brake pads with sandpaper or clean the disc with brake cleaner. Then the squeaking should also be addressed. We'll do it promptly, then remount the saddle and demonstrate. The remainder of the setting is set aside solely for your use. To adjust the brake, I'll do it like this now. Put the screw on and loosen it again gently. Place the identical game on the opposite side. Loosen it slightly to enable us to relocate the brake caliper to this location. Possess the capability to make necessary adjustments as and when it is required. In order to adjust the brake, it is necessary to loosen the small set screw located here on the inside of the mechanism. This ensures that the inner lining is securely fastened and protected. To do this we use an allen key with a size of 2 and we simply loosen the set screw by a small amount. And now we can adjust the inner lining by working from the back from inside. You can either turn the coating further in or further out by using a 5 rim bus to adjust its position on the inside. To achieve the optimal preload and ensure perfect brake adjustment, we fully screw in the inner pad completely, thus attaining the best possible braking performance and maximizing safety. Until both brake shoes touch the disc in principle. Now we don't have a game here anymore. Both receipts are attached to the window and now we simply loosen them here once again by about a quarter to a maximum of half a turn, ensuring they remain securely in place. That we have a small amount of breathing space here once more. 
Here we see again. The brake disc is already in contact with the lining on the exterior. Therefore, we would experience a grinding noise once more. Now we have the opportunity to align the brake caliper in a precise manner and thoroughly examine it by measuring the distance using the light gap. Right and left approx. Have the identical distance to the brake disc and... Next, proceed to reattach our brake caliper once again, ensuring it is securely fastened in place using the appropriate bolts or screws. Next, we inspect the barrel. The brake would now be properly adjusted. Certainly, we will still conduct a functional test, and we are going to examine the moment when the brake begins to pull. In my opinion, I think it should only reach halfway here until the brake truly engages and comes to a complete stop. We have control over the entire thing, attempting to rotate the wheel located at the rear. We hope you enjoyed the video. You are welcome to give us a like down here. Or you can subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. You are welcome to leave us your ideas in the comments or what we should do for our next video. We are looking forward to it. Till later.